guys what is happening this is jose trujillo world's greatest living artist man i have lots of stuff to do today lots of stuff lots of stuff to do and uh and just uh re re uh re-engaging myself with my commitment that's really what i'm doing right now i'm i'm i'm, I'm solidifying my commitment my commitment has been has been has been pretty shitty so I'm solidifying my clip, my commitment. I'm recommitting, recommitting. I didn't understand this idea about 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 creating a, a new commitment with yourself or with whatever you're you initially created a commitment with. I didn't understand this idea. Uh, one of my mentors talks about it. And he's like, dude, maybe maybe you need to commit multiple times. Have you ever thought about that? And uh, I didn't get it. You know, I didn't get it because I I was I was raised with the idea or I thought maybe I wasn't even raised that way maybe I just thought that when you commit to something you commit once and then you're like yeah from now on but I mean looking back at my life nothing that I've ever said I was gonna do just you know just just do it it, it really just happened that one time it was a it was a constant uh work through it you know it was a constant reminder it was a constant uh is a recommitment and then until one day it just kind of became the norm to be in that state but at the beginning it wasn't that i think it's very much like people who who, who I, I always compare it to people who say i'm going to go on a diet or exercise they keep talking about it they keep talking about it uh, and the ones that that i think the ones that commit are for the most part i think are people that that talked about it maybe created enough pain like sufficient pain with, for for not having that or not doing that so submission su sufficient pain like like i need to do this or else it's very painful not to do it and, and they did it over and over and they said it over and over maybe they said it to friends family uh to the point where people didn't believe them anymore you know uh, they didn't believe in themselves anymore, but they kept saying it again. They kept saying it. it it's it's a it's a recommitment. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And I think until until you get to that place where you're boom, okay, you just made it happen because you you insisted upon it so much. You insisted upon it, and and, and most of us don't believe that because we we our parents or society or the movies you know when someone says i'm gonna do this in a movie and then they just show the montage the montage the movie montage of them taking action and all of a sudden it just happened uh 99 of people it's not like that that's not true you say you're gonna do something and then you fail at it or you or you or you let it go and then you won't do it again and you try it again and then you let it go i believe that the person that tries over and over and over and over eventually gets to that place i believe that 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 person eventually uh comes into terms uh maybe they just maybe they get tired oh thank you so much maybe they get tired of it maybe they get tired of of constantly recommitting but it just it snaps uh, one of my mentors talked about this uh, when he was uh, abusing drugs, using and abusing drugs, right? He said that he, he kept saying, I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop, and, and just didn't stop, right? And he said, he said that he said that for thousands of times. He said that he said that for thousands of times. He said, I'm going to stop, and it just it never happened. It, uh, and then one day he just, you know, he just said it. He it, it happened one day. It just happened, right? He he went and got himself help. He didn't do it himself, but he actually took the steps, right? He went and got help. And uh, professional help. And then that, that gave him the strength to stop, right? It happened with me. I used to I used to smoke. I used to use cigarettes. I used to smoke cigarettes, and and, and I was I used to tell myself I'm gonna stop. Uh, I I probably told myself that I was gonna stop, that I was serious, right? That I thought I was serious. I told myself I was gonna stop a few thousand times too. I don't know. Uh, I told myself a lot that I was gonna stop, and I didn't and I didn't and I didn't stop. But one day, I mean, I didn't stop just because I told myself. One day. 
I did it less, and then and then I did it less, and then it just kind of I just stopped. Somehow I just stopped. And I think that looking back, looking at it, I realized why I stopped. I realized why it happened. You know, I'm able to see why it happened. I insisted upon it. I made sure to insist. I'm going to take the stairs because I need stairs. I need to walk on the stairs. I'm not going to take the elevator today. I'm going to take the stairs. So one day it just it just clicked, right? I was I told myself over and over, oh I'm gonna I'm gonna stop smoking, I'm gonna stop smoking. Never did, right? But but kept kept insisting. And then one day, boom, it just to the point where I don't miss it, I don't crave it, I don't care about it. And uh, and then it just became my normal not to smoke. As I, as it became my normal to smoke in the beginning. So why am I telling you this? It's the same thing with your art career. It's the same thing with your art career. You tell yourself, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and then you don't do it, and then one day it just it clicks and you start doing it. But you gotta you gotta you gotta keep your you gotta keep yourself believing that you're gonna do it. Alright? So that you keep telling yourself, committing, recommitting. I'll leave you guys with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful and productive day. All right, take care. Talk to you soon.